What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the cooliest, grooviest content on the site, well, you've come to the right place. By now, I'm sure some of you've heard of the unfortunate happenings regarding Technoblade. If you haven't, the man's got tumors in his arms and is currently undergoing chemotherapy. Now, I don't got much to say about the situation itself. All I wish is a quick and speedy recovery for the guy, and I'm sure everyone shares the sentiment. And, well, believe you me, I ain't here to police how people go about the situation. I got enough problems in this little world of mine. But that being said, I think the way some people went about making their videos on the matter has been a little distasteful. Now, I realize this is an industry where people capitalize on what they can, but in a situation like this, quite literally, life or death, I think I could be forgiven for being a little sick to my stomach with everything going on. One YouTuber who has been quite notable in this whole ordeal is someone who goes by the name of Jaden. Now, I'll say right now, I ain't got nothing against this person. They ain't done nothing to me, so they're all right in my book. That being said, I'd say they could have done a little better when handling a situation like this. Start off, you have a clickbait thumbnail with a bad clickbaity title, you go to watch it, the video ain't nothing special. They just go over the situation, pat it out with next to meaningless commentary and they call it a day. The description is also quite telling as they refer to a technoblade ad nauseum, presumably so it can be picked up by the algorithm. Well, we ain't watching the video because to me it's of little note. But in it, they claim that they're donating all the money they make from the video to a charity, which, from what I've seen, appears to be founded. Although, I have reason for suspicion, because you'd think they'd have the video linked directly to a charity somewhere. But if they're staying true to their word, kudos for them. That being said, I still don't think it changes how scummy it is to use someone's pain and suffering to essentially piggyback off the algorithm and try to get exposure. Now, to be honest, this whole thing would have flown under my radar. I'm not really into the whole reaction commentary scene, you dig? But it's what went on in Twitter.com which drew my attention. Before Jaden made her video on Techno, they made a tweet where they poke fun at the people who are trying to capitalize on the situation. Now, I agree these videos are pretty scummy. As Jaden said, they are milking the situation and not even hours after the news breaks. But considering everything, this is laughably hypocritical. Now, a lot of people move to voice their frustrations about Jaden's uh, marketing, I suppose. And, well, to put it in blackjack terms, Jaden doubled down. Here are a few tweets I managed to salvage. Keep in mind that both of her Twitter accounts are suspended, so I haven't got much. But what I've got really is something. Quote, I like how you people come for me, but not anyone else. I didn't do anything wrong. I covered the topic respectfully, and I'm not profiting from it. How is that wrong? people profit from pedophile allegations. Is that morally wrong? I don't really think it's about the money, it's more about the insensitivity towards the matter. I also contest that she covered the situation with respect. I mean, I consider most of the video filler and padding, and well, the clickbait doesn't help. How is my video at all clickbait? I feel awful for Technoblade. How is that clickbait? Tell me, I wanna know the answer. I think what Jaden fails to understand here is that clickbait isn't limited to lying in the thumbnail or title for clicks. Clickbait is just that baiting for clicks. Now, when possible, I like to believe what I see, and what I see is someone baiting for clicks, and I think Ditto would go for a lot of other peeps. Now, I'm sorry, but you can't go up against what I'm looking at with my own eyes. You can come for me, I don't care. Don't touch the one thing I care about. You want to destroy it, I get that, but you won't. No matter how much I suffer, I get a video out every day. I do what the algorithm wants. It will reward me as long as I continue to do so. Adding on to that, in this tweet, they seem to be flexing the video's performance. Now, these two Two tweets I think really are something, cause here Jaden admits that yeah, it's about the algorithm and views, in stark contrast to how she tried to portray herself earlier, trying to show respect to an unfortunate situation. The whole thing seemed to have reached its climax with Jaden telling fellow YouTuber sensitive society to kill themselves. Now, doing this on Twitter is an instaban, I believe they have some sort of algorithm to detect it, or at least a moderator who looks over stuff like this. In any case, both of Jaden's accounts appear to be banned for the time being. Now, there were more, but I can only salvage so many tweets. Now, I was considering uploading the video yesterday night as all of this was happening, but I decided to bide my time, and it turns out that Jaden came out with a follow-up video addressing the backlash. Now, we ain't gonna watch the whole thing, but we'll go over some of the bits and pieces that I found to be most interesting. So, I messed up. As you guys know, yesterday I made a video talking about the entire Technoblade situation, and this ended up causing a huge controversy on Twitter, and Optimus, who is someone that I respect and have watched for years, ended up calling me out on this. So, to kind of explain what happened, yesterday I got up, there was no video topics, I had nothing to make a video on. And then, sometime in the afternoon, Twitter is going crazy, it's freaking out, they say, oh my god, Technoblade has cancer. At first, I didn't think it was real, so I watched the video, and I was shocked. This was something that I honestly didn't expect. And at the time, there was a few people saying, don't make videos on this, do not make a video on this, do not profit on this, I can't believe people would profit off of something like this. So, I kind of debated for 
little while whether or not I was going to make a video. At the end of the day, I had nothing else to make a video on. This was something that I was interested in and something that I wanted to talk about. So I made the video. Now, this first part sits a little weirdly with me. I mean, if you don't have a topic for the day, there are plenty of alternatives when it comes to content creation. Namely, you can just scour the web for something to react to, make some fun of it, you know? Or you could just maybe take the day off. Now, as I was making this video, I was searching around YouTube, doing a little bit of research to see what exactly people were saying about Technoblade. And that's when I stumbled upon these channels, basically re-uploading other people's streams and making clickbait titles. They're having people crying in the thumbnail. And somehow they had already made two videos out of the entire situation when it had just happened a few hours ago. So I made a tweet saying, wow, these people are already milking this. What's wrong with them? So then after that, I upload my video. And that's when I start facing some backlash. People start calling me out saying, hey, this isn't the type of thing you should make a video on. Some people are saying, wow, you're a hypocrite because you cut out these channels, but then you do the same thing, which I did kind of mention that in my video. I have no problem with people talking about this. My problem was just the fact that these channels were dealing other people's videos, making the most clickbait titles imaginable, and then somehow making more than one video. Now, I don't know what all this is supposed to prove. Seems like you're just passing blame. Yes, what those channels did was bad, but it doesn't really excuse what you did because your video was just as near as I'm concerned. And then that's when Optimus gets involved. His main points against me were that I monetized the video and I didn't make this a fundraiser video. Apparently, YouTube has this feature where you can actually raise funds for charity through your video. I had seen it on some of his videos, but I didn't know that this was a feature that I had access to. And if I had known, I probably would have used it. No, I'm not one to argue in bad faith, but I just find this hard to believe. You gotta understand, Jaden's pretty passionate about the whole YouTubing shtick. So it's just hard for me to have confidence that she didn't know about such a prominent feature. It just don't make no sense. You'd think in a video where they plan to donate to charity, such a feature would be at the forefront of their concern. The next point that he had against me is that my description was spammed with keywords. If you notice in my descriptions, I'll put things like Technoblade said this, Technoblade did this, Technoblade Twitter, something like that. And there's a, a method behind the madness of my descriptions. They're not just random jarbled nonsense. How YouTube and the algorithm works is if you have keywords in your title, then your video will rank higher in certain. And I've been doing this with all of my descriptions for the last year, pretty much ever since I heard about this, which I'll give that point to Optimus. That was a pretty valid point. And I completely understand where he's coming from but to me i wasn't sitting there being like oh man i'm gonna get so many views if i put technoblade for me it was just like i'm writing a description this is how i write all of my descriptions it was pretty much just muscle memory for me at this point it's here that Jaden uses the excuse of muscle memory which i find to be absolutely laughable if anything i'd say that this doesn't exactly inspire confidence in future happenings that may require a more delicate approach not to mention that the description still hasn't changed it's the same as it's ever been slick here as of editing this video the initial technoblade video Jaden made was was removed. However, even at the time of this apology, Jaden failed to update the description to something more appropriate. Now, another thing he had a problem with was the title and the thumbnail. He pretty much said that these were clickbait. And to an extent, I guess, maybe it was. But at the same time, I purposely tried to avoid putting certain things in the title and thumbnail. The least clickbait title that I could have used in this situation was Technoblade has cancer. That could have been the title. And I just thought that that would look worse. I didn't want to put cancer in the title. I just thought that was wrong. Although I did put it in the thumbnail. And when I was making that thumbnail, I was like, should I, should I put this in the thumbnail? I mean, it's not clickbait. It's true. But I didn't want to have that in my title. But at the end of the day, I still did it. I still made that in my thumbnail and I will take accountability for that. Well, I don't really get that whole explanation. A whole lot of jarble just for you to admit that it was all clickbait. So it seems like you contest the point, but immediately walk it back. I'm sorry, just I really don't understand. Now, as me and Optimus were arguing, I started to bring up some of the videos that he's made because he's made videos on killers. I've done the same. So to me, I was kind of like saying, why can you make a video on this, monetize it, have a kind of clickbait title and thumbnail, but I can't do the same. And I guess the difference was just time. He waited to make his video when I pretty much just made my video immediately, which to be honest, I probably should have waited, but I wasn't really thinking about that. I had no topics. I had nothing to make a video on. I have to get a video out every single day. And I was like, wow, this is the perfect topic to make a video on. I'm sorry, but uh, I don't really understand what you're trying to explain here. This makes you sound awful, atrocious, reprehensible. I mean, you're pretty much admitting like, yeah, I didn't have any topics. So I decided to capitalize on someone with cancer. I mean, Jesus, dude, that's low. And that's exactly what I did. To me, this was just another daily video about something I wanted to talk about. It was just another trending thing in the Minecraft community. It was not my intentions at all to benefit from Technoblade's situation. This is something else that's pretty hard to believe. I mean, there are screenshots of you bragging about how the video performed, and at the risk of sounding like a broken record, that's on top of all the clickbait. Everything just points to you looking to take advantage of someone in a little pickle. Also, I said some mean things on Twitter to sensitive society, which we have a complicated history. I'm not really going to explain that, but me and him used to be pretty good friends. He's one of the first people that I met in this community. I think we met around five to 10,000 subscribers and now we're about that 200,000. So that just kind of shows how long we've known each other. A few months ago, we had a falling out. For some reason, the dude just stopped liking me. So I just see him replying to the tweets, just like hyping people up, supporting what they're saying. And I, I tell him that his life, which is something I've done a couple times and I'll admit that was wrong. But yeah, that, that ended up getting my Twitter account suspended, which is probably a good thing because I, I have a Twitter addiction. I'm on Twitter all day, pretty much every day. And what people don't 
don't understand about Twitter is it's not the same as YouTube or Discord or real life. Twitter, you're meant to be toxic. When people have different opinions, they don't just say, okay, they fight. They fight and they force other people to share their opinion. That's basically the goal of Twitter. You're trying to convince people to believe what you believe and nobody ever backs down. If you back down, well, you're cringe. You're a loser. I'm sorry. I just don't believe any of this. Twitter, yeah, it's a toxic place, but that isn't its sole purpose. Honestly, you could have owned up to your mistakes. I don't think anyone would have thought any less of you. This was a situation that you and you alone put yourself in. Now, I didn't really go into detail with this video, but hopefully I provided enough context. Now, I really talked about all I'm interested in, but the whole situation appeared to have given way to some more drama between some more YouTubers, namely Optimus, who's recently made a content crusade on Jaden. It's an interesting video, and if you want to dig deeper into the situation, it's a good watch. As for me, Optimus said his piece, and I ain't the one to fight other people's battles, so this is where I'll leave it all off. Honestly, the whole video just seems to be shifting blame and moving goalposts, trying to justify her actions. Find it interesting how a lot of the more damning screenshots were also left out of the video. In my opinion, that's just dishonest and, frankly, lying by omission. Well, I'm having to record a few more lines because it looks like Jaden has released yet another video about the situation. In it, she seems to have owned up to a lot of what happened. The original video regarding Technoblade has been privated and a fundraiser properly linked. That being said, I'm not particularly sold on the video. I think there's too much appeal to emotion. Now, trying to garner sympathy in a YouTube apology is nothing new, but it certainly doesn't do any favors. All this just seems like excuses to minimize responsibility and accountability. Optimus made some really good points, and I completely understand where he was coming from. At the time when all of this was going on, I really wasn't in the right state. I was scared that I was going to lose everything. I mean, this dude that I looked up to, who I'd watched content from for years, was going to make a video on me. So I panicked, tried to get my video out as fast as possible, stayed up all night to make this video, when I probably should have tried to reach out to him to resolve the situation. But Other than that, I'm not sure just how genuine the apology really is. I mean, you want my honest opinion? I think Jaden just saw the writing on the wall. She knew she couldn't tell any more lies or make up any more excuses. So the best she could do to save face in the YouTube community was to do what she should have done all along. Now I'm not familiar with Jaden, but from what I've heard, this is a person who will get into hot water, relish in the drama, but break down when it all comes back to bite her in the ass. This is a situation all too common for Jaden, so honestly it's reminiscent of the boy who cried wolf. Again, I want to emphasize that I ain't got nothing against Jaden, and I ain't looking to give any trouble. I just want to give my opinion on the matter. Honestly, I'll say that I think people have been getting a little too heated over this situation here. That being said, I find her video in response to the backlash to be quite distasteful. I mean, clickbaiting someone's cancer for YouTube exposure, bragging about it on Twitter, and then releasing an apology that, at best, is damage control and, at worst, just flat-out lies, just ain't the way to fly. So again, I wish Technoblade the best of luck with this situation. Cancer really is a biatch, and as far as the Jaden situation goes, well, I suppose we'll have to see where it ends up. That's all I've got for this shtick. Now, do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.